We are halfway through our Give the Gift of Love blood drives, but still have two more for the community to take part in. Today we are sharing the story of a sister who is a first time donor and has her brother to thank for giving her the strength to donate. News 11's Linda Weed explains why she is giving in honor of Dwayne. Dwayne York, a son, an uncle, a friend, and a brother, taken from this world too soon at the age of 33. But he made the most of his time here and wanted to make sure others lived as long as they could. He was an amazing person. He was my best friend. Jennifer McCormick is Dwayne's sister. She never had the guts to do what he could, roll up those sleeves for a good cause. He was big on giving blood himself, you know, and he would he would give blood and give plasma. On February 10th, Dwayne would have turned 35. So Jennifer celebrated the way she knew Dwayne would want her to by donating her blood for the first time. I've always been somewhat afraid of needles, but for him, I figured I'd, you know, I'd come out and, and do it for him. Didn't even realize I was done. I thought they were just beginning and, you know, turns out I was pretty much done. <laughs> so it was pretty fast. It's a heartbreaking reason that brought Jennifer to this Give the Gift of Love blood drive, but it's a life changing one. Her one donation will save up to three lives and will keep Dwayne's memory alive by making his mission her own. She just wishes Dwayne was here to see her face those fears. Well, he knew I was pretty much a chicken. <laughs> I would tell him, look, I can. You know, I'm, I'm not a chicken. <laughs> I can do it too. Reporting in Ephrata, Linda Weed, News 11. And if you'd like to help us give the gift of love this February, stop by our next blood drive. It will take place at Pioneer Fire Company on February 15th from 1 to 6 p.m. And our fourth and final stop will be in Mannheim on Wednesday, February 24th. More information on the drives and how to sign up can be found on our website, brctv11.com.